We're here with Mike Hurst, Chief Pilot, Petroleum Helicopters, explaining to us about the ADS-B capabilities of the Sikorsky S-76 helicopter. Inside the aircraft itself, there's really not a lot to see that's different than what you would find in any other aircraft of this type. The uh, ATC transponder that any pilot is familiar with is how uh, ATC identifies them from other aircraft. In looking at this one, it really looks no different than any others, but inside it is some magic now. It's taking data from the flight management system and it's sending it to the transponder. And that transponder is essentially transmitting that GPS position, altitude, speed, back to this building right here, Houston Center. Well, what that, what that means is that offshore, let's just say 150 miles offshore, whereas before the pilot was unable to either communicate or center was not able to see this aircraft on their radar screens, that that slowed down and hindered the IFR process and in many cases made it impractical to go IFR because of delays, separation, and the fact that when they routed these aircraft offshore, uh, they had to often take them on circuitous routes in order to maintain that separation. So now when the pilot files a flight plan and indicates that he's ADSB equipped, it does a couple of things for him. One, it gives him priority because Houston Center will give an ADSB aircraft IFR priority over a non-ADSB aircraft. Okay. Okay, number two, and I, I'd mentioned this before, I think that this is a three-legged stool. Those sites offshore also have weather reporting and communication. So now, in addition to air traffic knowing the position of this aircraft, they can also talk to this pilot through that same site offshore. The pilot has the added advantage of knowing what the weather is at that site through the AWOS, or the Automated Weather System, which he can either uh, dial up on his VHF radio and listen to it, or prior to departure, call it on the phone and get the weather. So a lot of advantages to having this system. And that's the reason we were the first ones out here. We knew the advantages of it. Have you been able to use it IFR since December 17th when it went live? Yes, we've, we've used it almost on a daily basis. Since How many of your aircraft are equipped? Currently there's 13 equipped. Whose uh, who's ADSB uh, system are you using? Which, which event? Well, the, uh, this one is universal, this particular one. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, have been working with some of the Garmin units, but uh, primarily universal right now. Thank you. You bet.